Whoa! Oh my gosh. There we got more beats. Oh, what about these beets? That these were ready to harvest. Is that not indeed correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, these are these look great. These look nice and big. Now push the leaves over, and I was supposed to look and move my finger at the balls of the plant, and if they were about an inch thick of the beets, and they were about a foot high, the leaves they were ready to pick. Oh, I see those beets are ready. Wow, look at this. Oh my goodness, this is how it comes to harvesting the beets, if I'm not mistaken. And I just look. Oh, farmer, Tabor, look at that one. That's oh even the God. biggest yet. Wow, look at that. That's like an inch and a half. Now, when I do this, I want to really look because some of the other beets may still be too young. Correct? And I just move that dirt and yeah, soil around it. A little smaller one okay, right and I keep it. I don't touch it. I try not to harm it as much as possible. I put the dirt next to it that was from the removed beet around it, and then it could still be growing for next time, and it creates more room and space for that beet that isn't ready to grow and be ready for a later picking in the same spot. Oh, there's another one, Farmer Tabor. Oh what gosh. do you think of that? You're like growing Woo. beets over here, huh? Got beets coming out our ears and our noses. I move those stems, those leave over. Again, looking for the bigger balls of beets. Wait a second. I, think I pull it out. Whoa. Oh my gosh. There we got more beets. Oh, but more again, beets. if I see the ones next to it that are smaller like this, so I just move that soil back in leaving that those younger beets that aren't ripe yet or as mature as the ones we just picked able to grow in the garden leaving them later for a later harvest and still not wasting any of those beet plants this is fantastic